discuss about uh, the important topics which we are going to study in the next 40 hours in this course in the revision course so before we talk about the course let me once again explain you the importance of the revision so at the time of preparing for the course we spend lot of time on the course so teachers will teach you elaborately for so long time and so many topics they cover and of course they cover entire syllabus but out of that it is our choice where we need to focus more where we need to ignore certain things not all of the things we need to learn all of the things we need to be thorough not required that's what yesterday we discussed smart preparation is required in any competitive exam blindly prepare the entire syllabus sometimes we may we may gain knowledge but it is of no use it doesn't give you the fruitful result at the end of the day so what is important is scoring the marks in exam is very very important that's where we need to focus so in the revision in in, in this revision course we try to focus we try to emphasize more on how to maximize your score with minimum effort right with minimum effort how to maximize the score where we what to study what to what to what not to study what to ignore so certain things certainly you can ignore we all know that uh, gate is of gate is more of numerical oriented so hardly they ask uh, critical questions in gate exam even though the subject like uh, environment engineering 50% it is theory and 50% numericals truly speaking 50% questions we supposed to get related to critical questions but uh, hardly will find critical questions right Nine, more than 90% of the questions are of numerical type so that is what we need to learn so there are so many things of course without theory you can't even solve the numericals so that already we have done in the regular course in the revision course again going through every detail is not required okay so we need to be very smart so we need to optimize our time time management also very very important so in the revision course so four things we need to keep in our mind so one is you need to plan your preparation and you need to work your preparation and you need to uh, sort out so where you need to focus more where you need to uh, ignore the things okay so that's what we try to uh, uh, that's what we try to give you so that you can per perform well in the exam you can excel in the exam okay so competitive exams uh, time management also very very important so time management uh, that means you need to practice with practice so you can improvise your time management there are certain shortcuts shortcuts are available to work out even numericals so short methods are available those techniques you have to learn in addition to the regular things design design problems so total suppose for example you see analysis of structured subject you see the subject is fascinate the very core of civil engineering is structures because civil engineers construct the things so every civil engineer fascinate about learning the structures more so but uh, you hardly solve questions in you hardly find questions in structural analysis in uh, uh, gate exam because structural analysis is a very big course uh, questions are very lengthy so you can't ask you a full lengthy question for one mark and two marks so therefore even it is very interesting and it is uh, it is and every civil engineer excited to learn more and more related to structures but when it comes to the competitive exams so it is of no much use even if you put lot of effort in learning this so many things in structural engineering but it is of not much of use in scoring marks so you need to be very smart while preparing the course so so some of the topics water related subjects for example like environment engineering like hydrology like some small topics transportation engineering geotechnical engineering so these are all the scoring subjects so where you need to focus more of course without structural engineering there is no civil engineering but uh, these are the things we need to know when we are writing when you are writing competitive exams okay which is subject you need to pay more attention that is very very important i recommend you strongly recommend you to be very thorough with three subjects three 100% should you, you should be sure about these three subjects one is 
environmental engineering second is geotechnical engineering third is transportation engineering if you are thorough with these three subjects if you maximize the score here then anything you score beyond these three subjects that will improve your rank that improve your performance but these three subjects if you neglect because others are very familiar because in competitive exams tough subjects doesn't make any difference in get in in get in getting the success the what subjects make difference in easy subjects if subject is easy if you fail to answer that questions from that easy subject where others manage to answer that answer those questions in that in those easy subjects then you will be nowhere in competition whereas tough subjects if it is tough to you it is tough to everybody even they fail to answer also it doesn't make any difference instead of writing exam for 100 marks you may be writing the exam for suppose five tough questions came in exam right those tough fight five, five tough questions doesn't make any difference to you if it is tough to you it is tough to everybody so all will be writing exam for only 95 marks but there are some 20 easy questions are there in exam where you fail to answer maximum number that makes very di difference in your performance final result and as well as your final output so therefore you need to be very clear about easy subjects and easy concept that is the reason why we choose first topic is first subject is environmental engineering the reason is it is easiest among all subjects easiest among all subjects where you can score maximum marks without any difficulty so coming to the environmental engineering if you see the course content right there are so many topics in environmental engineering there are so many topics are there in all topics also not no need to learn few topics you are thorough if you are thorough with a few topics 100% i can assure you you can score maximum so if you see the environmental engineering course right you can see the topics there there are four topics water supply engineering is one topic the waste water engineering is the second topic the solid waste management is third topic air pollution control is fourth topic but uh, 90% of the questions you'll get from water supply and waste water only 90% of gate questions they will ask only from water supply and waste water because most of the civil engineers work with the municipal corporations their day in day out their job is in in that municipal corporation when they are working for municipal corporation as a civil engineer their job day in and day out they deal with water and waste water they deal more of water and waste water and very and of, of course nowadays they are also focusing more on solid waste as well but main job is water and waste water one of the basic infrastructure that we require to have a better quality of life to lead a better quality of life is water of course water so who will provide water to all of us it is municipal corporation civil engineers working with municipal corporation they see that the people living in the community people living in a city community could be anything community could be a town community could be a city community could be a village community could be a colony whatever it may be so some people live in a community so they need basic things to live so one of the important things that they badly need to lead a quality of life is water drinking water so we'll supply that drinking water and water general water water used for general purpose drinking water and as well as water required for general purpose like bathing purpose like flushing toilets for cleaning homes for maintaining the gardens and all so who will provide this water to you municipal corporation who will how municipal corporation supply that water to you by using a system water supply system so it is a duty of civil engineer to to plan that water supply system to design that water supply system to construct that water supply system to ma to maintain that water supply system to operate that water supply system and as well as overall manage that system therefore thousands of civil engineers work with the water supply department so it plays an important role and similarly once we use the water that become a waste water waste water is very dangerous accumulation of waste water in a community also community leads to the spread of diseases in a community the very object of this course is protecting the health of the public how you can protect health of the public by eliminating the environmental factors which trouble them so one of the things that trouble 
human beings living in a community is waste water therefore that you waste water is nothing but a used water so once we use water that become a waste so if you accumulate in a community which in turn cause diseases corona is a disease corona is a, a pandemic it is across the globe people suffered with corona similarly the waste accumulation of waste water cause right epidemics 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 means in a small region it cause diseases the total community suffer with diseases water borne diseases dirty water diseases etc 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 so there, therefore it is our duty to see that that used water should be properly taken care it should be properly and quickly it is drained away from the community taken far away from community the whatever bad is there in that waste water we should remove from the waste water before we dispose that waste water so therefore this water supply and waste water play an important role obviously which are we practice more from there they ask more questions so 90% of the questions you will get in gate exam from water supply and waste water therefore you have to focus more on water supply and waste water and solid waste management nowadays municipal corporations also dealing with solid waste management so accumulation of solid waste also cause diseases therefore tons and tons of solid waste is every day generated in the community so properly we need to take care of the solid waste as well and even we are nowadays paying so much importance to air pollution and control cities like delhi all metros people living in towns and because of towns and big big cities because of industrialization because of art, automobiles so many air pollutants are released into atmosphere without our knowledge we have been exposed to these uh, air contaminants which in turn troubling the human beings living in that city therefore to protect that innocent people so again it is a duty of the government to take care of the public health so therefore there we, we are also civil engineers also dealing with the problems related to air problem related to air pollution as well so people working with the central pollution control board people working with the state pollution control board their duty is to take care of waste water solid waste and as well as air pollution problems so practice wise if you see it is water supply and waste water plays an important role therefore more number of questions will get from there so not only that we are paying attention to solid waste management as well as air pollution and control so noise pollution also there earlier it was there in the syllabus so recently they have removed it but air pollution and control and solid waste management from there we will get to 10% of the questions maybe one or two one or two questions we will get from there one or two questions from air pollution control solid waste management one question you can expect waste water engineering we can expect four or five questions water supply we can expect four or five questions overall we will get to nine to 10 questions from environment engineering accounting to 10 to 15 marks 12 to 15 minimum 10 marks any time last 10 years papers 20 years papers if you refer any of the time not less than 10 marks any 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 time we got and maximum we got 15 marks so 10 to 15 marks is very decent weightage therefore there is a need to dire need to focus on environmental engineering environmental engineering geotechnical engineering transportation engineering these three subjects you are thorough then rest whatever you learn that will be bonus for you 100% we are sure that you can achieve success so we try to help you in focusing more on the concepts of these three subjects so that uh, it will help you in preparing very fast in revising the content very fast so that uh, you can get a good success in the exam okay so today i'll stop here so tomorrow we'll see more about uh, what can, what exactly we need to study in each course and all okay Thank you. Thank you for your...